Hi, I'm John Phipps, Vice President of Marketing with the Honest Water Filter Company, and today I'm joined by Shannon Murphy, Vice President of Product Development and Compliance with our partner Aquamore. Good morning, Shannon. How are you? Good morning, John. Excellent. Thanks for being here today. Tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I uh, got my start at NSF International back in 95, 96, where I was a program representative for Standard 61 and handled certification for mainly the faucet industry, uh, O-rings, gaskets, cements, things like that. I uh, worked my way up and in 1999, I became the operations manager for the water filtration program or the DWTU program at NSF International, uh, based in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, so I was there for about 10 years um, and then moved out to Phoenix, Arizona, where I was with Watts Water Quality for 10 years. Um, handled a lot of decentralized compliance issues for small communities across the United States. And then almost eight years now, I've been with Aquamore, uh, helping them in product development and global product compliance. I want to talk today about polyphosphates. There's a little bit of confusion out there as to what are polyphosphates. What light can you shed on that? Yeah, that's a great question. Thanks for asking that. You know, in terms of polyphosphates, they're a, a naturally mined material. Um, so it's a, it's a naturally stable product out in the environment today. Um, however, that being said, you need a very you know, specific formulation, you need a very specific blend of polyphosphates in order to make sure that it functions properly in drinking water applications. So phosphates have been used for hundreds of years in water distribution systems, mainly as a, a scale control and to protect the water distribution systems from corrosion and, and failure. Most of the honest water filter systems are available with polyphosphates. How do they work as a hard water solution in municipal water districts? For scale control, that's the main purpose for using phosphates. And it's been used for, like I said, hundreds of years. And most recently in the last 50 years or so here in the United States, mainly in the food service industry to make sure that food service products are um, being well maintained and operated, anti-scaling properties. Scale, of course, is a big issue here in the United States when you have calcium and magnesium deposits or calcium and magnesium in your water, which, especially on heated surfaces, not always heated surfaces, but we'll always see uh, extended scaling in things like a water heater for example, right. but you also get it in your dishwasher. So you'll see scaling on your dishes, especially if you have it uh, on a hot rinse cycle. Um, in your shower, if you've got glass walls in your shower, you'll see the scaling there on your shower. Um, but then also, of course, you'll also have scaling in non-heated areas, generally around your kitchen sinks, around your taps, faucets, and even on your outside hose bibs. How long have polyphosphates been used in the commercial space? I know ice machines at you know 7-Eleven or Circle K, they use polyphosphates to kind of protect their very expensive ice machines. Mm -hmm. And how long has that been going on? You know, if in the specifically in the ice, the world of food service, we'll call it, you know, easily 50 years or more now. You know, these have been a staple of of the food service industry, and actually. Nowadays, as we start talking about these very large commercial ice machines, um, the combi ovens, all the different machines that are coming out to service the food service industry, there's actually warranties with that equipment that's being applied, but you must have uh, a water filtration device, and in certain circumstances, water filtration device with scale control in order to extend those warranties. And so, um, it's been used for well over 50 years in the food service industry, and that's sort of been the precursor uh, to, to make that leap from sort of these commercial food service industries as we've gone from small mom and pop food service areas where you're talking a 350 pound ice machine to now you're talking a 300,000 pound ice machine for some of these large commercial places that we have, say, in Las Vegas. Um, we've had to expand that program and now it's been an easy transition to take those devices and bring it to the backroom package of, of 
homes and, and light industrial applications. So would you say the honest water filters are one of the first to incorporate polyphosphates in a residential whole house system? I'll say that the honest water filter has done the best job at incorporating polyphosphates into the whole home system. I think the industry as a whole still is sort of, there's a number of different options that are out there um, in terms of scale control within the home. Polyphosphates is one that's been really heavily used, um, for example, um, at the water municipality. Uh, what polyphosphates are used commonly at the centralized water treatment facilities for scale control and for coating the pipes. Makes so sense. these pipes are coated uh, and there's small amounts. Now, of course, it dissipates as it goes through the distribution system, but it helps protect the piping in the distribution system. There's really not enough of it in to get any sort of wear and tear in the actual home itself. And so what the Honest Water Filter is doing is it's taking this technology that's really, it's been used for years in the food service industry, as well as the, the water municipalities for all these years for scale control and for, you know, basically protecting the piping within the distribution system and in the kitchens. And now that what the Honest Water Filter Company is doing is taking sort of the power of that program and bringing it into each individual home so that each individual home is having that same level of protection that large commercial kitchens and large water distribution systems are, are, are using. Very good, thank you very much. I'd like to thank Shannon for uh, giving us some of his time today to talk about our polyphosphates. For more information, you can go to our website, www.honestwaterfilter.com, www.honestwaterfilter.com. Thanks for listening.